still haven't got the um, greenhouse lean-to done yet, but I found uh, an amazing find in the trash. Someone actually threw away a, a potting cart that I've added to the possible use of this greenhouse. But let's talk a little bit today about why do you care about solar heat? And why do you really want to listen to this video about solar heating when you don't have it and you're not really interested in it? But if you look back through my videos, you'll see last year and the year before how I put this solar heater in temporarily into that window over there. And I saved anywhere from, um, what was it, 20 to 20 eight percent I think it was on my electric bill just by adding some free heat to the house from the sun it's passive solar I'm hoping with this greenhouse here that it'll continue to give me even more savings and maybe when the sun's shining completely heat my house and store some of the energy to keep the greenhouse nice and warm during the winter or at least above freezing so um I'm hoping to share the truth with you, you know, and what's the truth for me may not be the truth for you, depending on your latitude, how much sun you have, and um, if you watch some of the solar heating videos or solar electric videos, for that fact, some of them are placed directly on the house, flat, and um, I've learned that there is, when I change the tilt from 52 degrees to 54 degrees, it increases the amount of heat that you get coming out of the solar heater. It also, um, you've seen some of the solar heating videos with just a fan, like a computer fan. If you go back and look through my solar heating videos, you'll see that the greenhouse exhaust fan that I added brings in a lot more heat than just a small little computer fan. So you'll learn a lot from everything I'm learning, <laughs> you know, and I hope that you enjoy it. Now let me go ahead and um, show you how we moved the <laughs> solar panel. It's now three o'clock and the sun is right there. And if you kind of see it's starting to get shaded in this area up here. Most of the time in winter, um, around three or four, when the solar panel was over here, it stopped putting out optimum heat. So at first, when it was moved over this way, it was somewhat flat to the house. What you have to do is put your latitude plus 15% for the maximum use on the tilt here. And um, before I can do that, I need to find the best use of it or the best place for it. The satellite here is a good indication that this is pointing south, directly south, and south is the direction you want it. So this is gonna have to become angled on the house here. And I've got this pole here for now, so I find the best use where I get the most hours out of this. And so I'm going to have to go ahead and, and move it again a little bit to see if I can get more. Because by December and January, the sun will change again. And I. Early in the season, like right now, it would be at a 52 degree tilt, and then I would move it down to 54. But let me give it a shot. <laughs> Silk found a bird in there. Okay. Don't move the satellite though. Can you get it in there? Too far back because I have to tilt it. 
bring our end out. Not that far, bam. Okay, move out of the sun. Do you see more sun on the satellite now? Uh, yeah. So do you know how to figure out 54 degrees if this is tilted at 54? Since you're the mass genius? No. Yeah, there's tools involved for that. That's what I'm saying. Like that. Do you have the tool? No. I have the tool somewhere. We just have to find it. Because I got a feeling that this isn't 54 degrees at the moment. But we'll leave it like this. See how the top of this is really hot and the bottom of it's really cool. The more it's tilted, the more of the surface gets hot. So much for our lesson. Look, the shade just got to that, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so it got an extra minute of sun over there. But this side is getting more of the sun. Thanks. Okay. I don't know if that was better or worse. But I'll come back in a half an hour and see what happens. Okay, this is 9.47 a.m. And the sun is hitting everything except for the bottom left corner. And the sun is up there. sun is getting on it. So it's getting closer to the 54 degrees. All I have to do now is get the air conditioner out of the window and put a vent in. Here it is, 4 o'clock, and the sun is getting ready to go down. This is December 19th, and the solar panel has about a quarter of it shaded. And I'm going to put the thermometer in the vent here and see how much heat's still in there. It looks like 59 degrees in the solar panel at the moment, and it doesn't have a lot of heat. It's cooling off because of the ice here. So eventually I'm going to build a frame and insulate it, getting this up off the ground. That way its heat will be retained longer. When I first got this, they had it in a... Um, frame that was built out of plywood and it had a copper lining and copper is conductive for electricity but I have no clue why they had copper inside the box holding this but the box that I'm going to make for it in the future once I get it in the area that I want it will be an insulated box that way the bottom of it won't be cold at the bottom and hot at the top. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.